Hi, I'm Jessica here at Nautilus Mission Control at the Inner Space Center in Rhode Island. We just finished a very exciting first leg of the expedition, and here are some of the highlights. We spent 23 days in the Black Sea, focusing on two areas, one off the coast of Aureli, Turkey, and the other off the coast of Sinop, Turkey. In both of these areas, we used our side-scan sonar towfish Diana to find targets on the sea floor that could be anything from a shipwreck to an interesting geological formation. On this leg, we imaged over 100 targets, and we were able to send our ROVs Hercules and Argus to dive on a selection of them to get a closer look. During our time in the Black Sea, we were able to explore a total of nine newfound shipwrecks. Four of those nine wrecks were off the coast of Sinop, and the other five off the coast of Aureli. Now, the oldest wreck that we found was off the coast of Sinop, Turkey, and we named it Sinop I. We're estimating that this wreck dates back about 2,200 years to the Hellenistic period between 3rd and 1st century BC. It's the oldest wreck that we've found in the Black Sea so far, and this is exciting as it proves that shipwrecks from that time period can survive the underwater conditions. We also found some more modern wrecks dating from the 17th to 19th century and a variety of different kinds of clay jugs used to carry cargo, also called amphora. The archaeologists used the amphora to date the wrecks. Now, the wrecks varied from being well-preserved to damaged by trawling scars from fishing nets. And we also found a textile with a button on it at one wreck and a cow's femur bone at another. We were also able to dive on some geologic targets from the side scan sonar. We found a few instances of bed forms and ripples possibly caused by internal waves or waves and currents that occur near the sea floor. Also in the Black Sea, we managed to take some sediment core samples. Since the sediments were coarser and sandier than expected, we had to employ a creative sampling technique, which involved fitting small red caps on the ends of the tubes to keep the sediments in place. Scientists on board are going to run tests on the sediments to study both chemistry and microbiology. And despite all of the hard work, the crew still managed to have a little bit of fun. Who can forget the spontaneous robot dance that happened on deck? <laughs> Again, I'm Jessica here at Nautilus Mission Control. Stay tuned at NautilusLive.org as the Nautilus explores the Southeast Aegean Sea on the second leg of the expedition. Thank <laughs> you.